what takes place, and then we write the dialogue, and this is what happens in panel two. And we have flexibility in that we know what the artists, you know, and we have good communication that if they want to do something different, uh, and they say, oh, I have a better way of drawing this, incorporate everything and make it kind of cool. I'll, I'll let them do that. Um, you know, uh, that, that's what we've done. We, we're, we'll, we have, we'll take more uh, liberties doing that with sparks and uh, mythology wars that we've been working on. It's not out there. Uh, the greatest American hero, the artist that gets drawn that kind of owns me is, uh, we're pretty specific about what we want and we keep it, we keep the parameters pretty tight. Um, we're not sure our contract with Clint is over. So we're not sure what we're going to do. Like we're, 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 uh, we're looking around at some other corporate, other, other, other business models. And you know, speaking with Boom, and obviously we like their business model that they have. And uh, we talked with Ted and his uh, CFO down there about working with them. They have some ideas what they might want to do if we're in bed with them. And do that. So you keep on the question, I guess, about the actual artist. Do you want the likenesses to look like like Ralph Inkley's from the show, or do you want them yeah. to just look like comic book characters? No, characters? from the show, from the show right now. Okay. And that is if that's what Stephen Cannell had asked for. Okay. Our deal with Stephen Cannell is that he gets the only thing he told us is that you know, he takes his his he gets 11 percent of gross for the licensing, and we made a separate deal with Bob and Connie for their likenesses, but. They're all in, you know, because they, you know, they're just good people. And uh, it's the classic greatest American hero that Steve wants to do when he has every intention of doing in the next year a new greatest American hero with new with a new cast. So we can't have just generic comic book no, characters. So it's original. Right. So he, you know, the, the idea is that we have the classic greatest American hero, like Gene Roddenberry took. We have the old Star Trek. And then we have the new incarnation, and now he has a, a third one coming out, which is probably going to be the coup de grace. I mean, the best of all. You know, it looks awesome. It's so cool. So, uh, so we're going to do the classic. We'd like to do an animated series, and uh, but he's going to do a new version. We talked about Owen Wilson, or maybe Shia LaBeouf, or one of the young kid to do the hero, and maybe a Bobby De Niro to do the FBI agent. It would be awesome. Uh, so, but he wants us to keep our licenses intact. I actually watched the panel that you were on on the internet from Comic Con, talking about how the show started to take directions that you didn't necessarily want. Or That's something. correct. Because every time you change the comics, yeah. 